Yo, what's up? It's your boy Park Jr. And what I got for you guys today is how to slow down this jet pass touch by the Oakland Raiders playbook. It's actually in a couple videos I posted out prior against the blitz thing. I kind of didn't want to show this, but you guys know I kind of made a quick audible to the video I was going to upload today because I wanted to make sure to get this out because weekend league is still a uh, weekend league weekend league is still going. So I want to be able to provide you guys some defense on how to slow down this human joystick and be able to kind of put yourself in a position to not get beat by these little simple tactics because of the crazy incredible ability that it is so with that being said guys just know the agenda for the week for those of you that have been patiently waiting and requesting you know i had um different things in the comments like hey can we get an update to some of the kids unique plays that he utilized like out of the spread and out of the tight so i'm gonna make sure to upload those other things that I'll be uploading for you guys, just so you guys know, is we're also going to be uploading um, the split close theme that I'll be putting up with the blocking. So just know I'm listening to the comments down below. I also read the comments on Trips Tied In and you guys wanting the 146 counter to it. Um, I have a, a lot of videos I've already recorded that I'll be posting this week, but I think Monday will be Kiz, Tuesday will be split close. We'll try to do that Trips Tied In in the future. But nonetheless, guys, thank you so much for those comments. Let me know anytime you need something. You know, we'll always try to make it work. So let's go ahead and hop right in. The practice mode let me come out and random play first okay and we're gonna come out in this jet touch pass and again i did what i did is i put um marquise brown i put marquise brown to 99 acceleration 99 uh juke move 99 change of their, all that stuff so this is obviously random and i just want to show you that this touch pass is incredible obviously he doesn't have human joystick um i tried doing this in franchise mode for you guys but it just didn't work out the way i expected it to so let's go ahead and run this here it is boom you guys can see it hold on we're just gonna run this play right human joystick you get this crazy animations but nonetheless um that's a little bit of a better uh look right there boom this little jet touch pass is super hard to stop boom and they again they got incredible change of direction so they can cut a field cut inside all that stuff this is like a little bit of a dollar look right here you know string it outside boom again there it is and we're picking up eight, nine yards. And I literally seen people run this in weekend league and literally just drive their way down the field nonstop over and over and over and over. Look at that, boom, there it is. You just get one good blocker on the outside and it's GG's, it's a wrap. So you can see, I'm just running this a few times randomly. Um, obviously the first one didn't make sense. This is that, uh, here we go. Ooh, that looked kind of promising, but nonetheless, you guys see it's very effective. So. Let me show you guys what I like to do. Now, as you guys know, if someone's in the Oakland Raiders playbook, they're probably going to run the ball. So I, I definitely want to, as much as possible, I want to go ahead and blitz them as much as I can. So I'm going to come out in 3-4 bear, pinch buck, 0-0, okay? This is how it looks like so far. What I like to do is hit right D-pad, slant inside, right D-pad, blitz all. So left D-pad, right stick down, right D-pad, blitz all, LB, RB, QB contain, okay? If I run this like this, Okay, just like this, right? Now, you know, the only thing that they could do is sweep to the right, right? Now, keep my defense like this in case they want to run dive. This does a great job of blowing that up. But what I want to show you here is that I can still get picked up. Look at this. You know, and obviously that's a computer, but against so a real life user, we're in trouble. So, here's what I like to do, okay? I'm going to show you just without any adjustments. If you just want to blitz all, boom. You're gonna press. We are gonna press like this. Obviously, you're in charge of Y in case they run a route and we're sending seven out of spread, so there's not a lot that they can do. I'm gonna take Judon and I'm gonna motion him out this way. Just a little bit, okay? Now, I might do a little coverage to this side, you know, because obviously we have two players unblocked. So I might take him and I might put him on a hard flat. So A, left stick to the left, hard flat. Take him, put him on an inside third. So A, left stick inside third y y b right stick to the left outside quarter so i might do a little cover three look like this in case they do run a little flood concept i can cover y momentarily and then i can backtrack out there now the moment i see the motion from brown you know if i see him motioning i'm gonna hit left d-pad and i'm gonna slam uh i'm gonna shift my line to the right so let me just show you how it's gonna look like i see the motion right there i'm gonna shift it i'm gonna come down and now check this out okay that was a really bad example let me show it to you one more time um here we go 
Let's take him, motion him out, boom, there you go. Okay, um, that was just a bad user by me because of my two controls. So let me just shift the line already so you guys can see. Here we go. So you're gonna see this come here, you're gonna come out, and now check this out, let go of your controller and you get to hit him in the backfield before they get a chance to really do anything. Now, I let go of my player. Once I get in that lane, I let go of him and I let the computer do it. I'm not on tackle aggressive. I don't wanna get juked out. I am on conservative. So here we go. We're gonna blitz all, slant inside, press. Boom, look at my, um, this is how I set it up. I just take this guy right here. Boom, there it is. Oops. And I stand right here, about 10 yards back. I like to stand about 10 yards back. In case they run a slant, I can come down on it. In case they run a go, I can bail track and go bail back on that go route. So again, if I see that motion, I'm shifting my... Oh my god, I shifted the wrong players. Um, he should still be here. Anyways, I think that's going to mess it up. But anyways, you're going to see right here. Boom, I see it. I'm going to come down. There it is. Boom, let go. And then we get our player to come in free. So again, how's it going to look like? Here it is. I just bring him back over here. Boom. All I is moving this guy out. And that's, if you want to not get quick hike, this is all I would do momentarily, right? Obviously, I was doing coverage, you know, but I want to make sure that I'm not going to get um, beat by any kind of, like, crazy thing. So here we go. I see the motion. I'm going to move these guys over this way. And then I'm going straight outside. There it is. Let go. And then we're blowing this up. So let me just show it to you one more time, guys. Here it is. Right? Boom. It's coming across. Look how everybody gets taken care of. And the way he comes in, all these inside lanes are really honestly like blocked up. There's nothing that, that can be done there. Boom, boom, boom. And then you can blow this up right there. Boom. Okay. Okay. So here we go. We're going to stand 10 yards back. There it is. Boom, boom. Just take this guy, motion him out slightly. Um, if you, I do believe if you move them in slightly like here, there we go. All right, there it is. If you move them in slightly, let me just give this one a try. Okay, motion them out. So here we go. We see the motion now. We're going to come out here. There it is. Ah, check that out right there. We might have found the secret sauce. Let's go ahead and do this one more time. Yeah, my apologies. I know seeing this for the hundredth time. So here we go. Here we go. We're going to move them right there. Let's shift our line. Boom, there it is. And again, I'm really just looking to see if, if shading him inside is going to make this play even better. So here we go. Let's go ahead. Boom, we see the motion. Boom. Nope. It's still the same thing, but I kind of like that better. It kind of just blitz down a little bit harder and kind of seems to make a play just a little better. So there it is, guys. Um, this is a way that you can stop this little sweet play out of this formation. Again, I'm 10 yards back to make sure I can guard Brown, whatever he does. And then I'm just moving this guy out slightly right there. And then shifting my line. The only I only shift once I see the motion. Here it is. Boom. I let go. And I try to get there as fast as I can to make sure I prevent him from being able to wiggle my way around my defense. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is kind of one of the ways to go ahead and blow up this popular jet touch pass out of this spread formation. All right, y'all. Take care. Capiche?